what's going on with you guys? Thank you for tapping in with me again today. And if you're new to the channel, I'm Cleveland. So today I want to give you a tip, a hack, something that's useful that I wish I knew when I first started in the hobby. I don't know if you know this, but if you don't, I'm about to share this with you guys. So this is about filters. This is about never throwing away your filter media ever, whether it's carbon, whether it's your sponges, you never have to throw it away unless you're looking for a specific purpose. And the specific purpose I'm talking about is if it's carbon, you know, after a while, carbon, it loses its potency. So, you know, if you're trying to have it, you know, do the same thing like removing odors and discoloration, things like that, then you might want to get some new carbon. But if you don't, keep that carbon. Now you have more surface area for that beneficial bacteria to colonize. So you know how we go out and we go get, you know, um, bio balls and, and biomass, all these different things, ceramic rings, all this stuff that we use to allow our beneficial bacteria to colonize on, that's what your carbon is gonna do. It's gonna colonize on that. So don't throw it away. And as far as your sponges, don't throw those sponges away, guys. You gotta keep your sponges. I don't care how old it is. As long as it's still in one piece, it's not breaking up, deteriorating, keep your sponges. I don't care what color it is. Rinse it out of that tank water, put it back in your filter. The reason why you wanna put it back in your filter is because now you have all, you have this big piece of sponge that has all these different porous areas, holes and all these crevices and everything for your beneficial bacteria to colonize. And believe it or not, you still could use it for mechanical filtration. It's still removing some of that gunk. As you know, when you pull out those sponges, it's gunked up, isn't it? So when you pull out those sponges, rinse them off in that tank water and put them back. So you're still doing your mechanical filtration and you're still, and you're actually giving yourself so much more surface area for your bacteria, beneficial bacteria to colonize. So I don't know if you know this guys, but I hope that helps you. I'm doing a water change on this on this turtle tank right now. I have a canister filter down below. I have a hang on the back filter right here. And I haven't thrown away any of my media in two years. And it still does a wonderful job. I'm doing a water change on it and it looks a little cloudy right now only because I have the filters and everything off and the turtles are moving around the substrate and it's kicking it up into the water column. But I'll show you a little video before I started on this and it was perfectly clean. But again, I like to stay on top of my tanks. I love crystal clear water. And uh, I'm just gonna tell you exactly and show you how I do that. And this is one of the ways. I don't throw away the stuff. I make sure that I have as much beneficial bacteria colonized inside of the filters, inside of my tank, in the substrate, on, everywhere. I make sure I keep my beneficial bacteria. I don't destroy any of that. So let me just go ahead and show you real quick how I go ahead and rinse these, um, rinse the me, y'all. I'm gonna show you what my sponges look like because you might look at it and be like, oh, I would toss those. But I want you to see what it looks like, the before and after. I'm gonna put it back. And as you continue to watch these videos, so I hope you're subscribed. I hope you got that notification bell hit. And if you do, you'll see future videos of these tanks. You'll see how they look. You can look at my past videos and you see how clean these tanks are. And this is how I do it, guys. You know, we all have tanks that crash, but I haven't had a tank crash in, a, in quite a while. This tank is the most problematic tank because I have four turtles in here. But let me show you how I do this. And then if you have any questions, please drop them down in the comment section. And um, let me show you. Come on over. Mm -hmm. All right, so I have all of these beautiful pathos growing inside of this hang on the back. First, I need to unplug it. Oh. Got the right one. Okay, perfect. All right, let me see you ready. You can right. start. Oh, I've been recording, babe. Okay. All right, so I don't know if you could get a good look at that, but the roots are growing crazy in there. Could you see it? Yep. Can you see the detritus? There we go. Could you see all that detritus in there? There you go. Perfect. So, um, yeah, look at that sponge. <laughs> look at my filter floss down there. Disgusting, right? But, as I stated, I'm keeping it all. <laughs> So watch this. 
So since those roots are growing everywhere like crazy, I'm just gonna pull out the whole thing, just like that. I'm just gonna dump the whole thing in there. And I'm gonna dump this. So this is the part that I clean. Same way with same thing with the canister filter. I go ahead and I uh, clean this in clean water. I don't need to worry about killing off any bacteria on this. So I'll be back. All right guys, so now that I have the filter housing clean to my, uh, to my liking, now let me show you how I clean the, the media itself. So all I'm doing, the roots are all through there. Look at that. So I will actually leave some, well, I won't. I'll leave that one in there. So all I'm doing is just shaking it off. Just like that. And you would think it's still dirty, but that's really good enough. All that beneficial bacteria is still there. This is what your healthy pathos will look like if you put them inside of your, uh, your hang on the back. It's growing all through there like crazy. So I'll actually remove some of that. But again, give it a little shake. But we already know. We already know to keep these, right guys? Just we, We've heard over and over again how you keep these. You rinse these off. This is not the area that we need to really highlight. It's this. Cheap polyfill. So I don't have the Fluval 110 sponge in here. It's very thick. And um, I wanted to pack it basically with, uh, with this kind of media right here. But this right here does the same job. Even though it looks dirty, even though it's not white or clean or any of that, it is now doing twice the job of this. This we know house all of our beneficial bacteria, but people fail to mention how used mechanical floss, filter floss, sponges will also colonize and, and, and house your beneficial bacteria as well as serving as mechanical filtration. So I want to tell you that. I hope you guys remember that. And um, we have another filter that we're going to clean. And I want you to see that filter floss in there. Because I'm absolutely sure most of you would just toss it and it's not it's not to throw shade it's just because that's how we were taught that's that's what we know i mean that's all i knew so i was doing it i was doing it for a long time until i started start really just thinking about it and it started making sense to me why am i getting rid of something that's still serving its purpose but now it's serving a dual purpose it just it, it doesn't make sense to throw it away and a lot of us know how much buying new media costs. It's expensive. It's one of the work we hate doing it as a fish hobbyist. That's one of the things we really dislike doing. That's why we try to find the most cost-effective way of filtering our tanks. We certainly hate replacing all of the media that's supposed to be for these filters, whether it's sponges, whether it's carbon, etc. It's, we all know that it gets very costly when you're replacing it. So we find other means. We, we find a lava rock, we find the pot scrubbers, we find sponges, all these different things, a way to, to basically cut cost on filtering our tanks. So one of the ways that we could cut cost, guys, and one of the ways that I'm sharing with you right now is prolonging the use of these, um, whether it's filter floss, whether it's sponges, whether it's use of carbon that you don't throw it away, you keep it. Allow it to work, because it's gonna to continue to work. Like I said, this right here, it looks old, 
it looks like, you know, any, I'll tell you what, a year ago I would have just thrown it away and added in some new flaws. Um, but at this day, at this point, I realized the benefit of continuously using this. So um, I'm not gonna toss it. I'm gonna put it right back into this, hang on the back. And then I'm gonna do the same thing with the other filter floss that's inside of this canister. So I set it already, I'm setting it again. Let's go ahead and, uh, oh yeah, and then here's the lava rock. This is the lava rock right here. So take, check it out. We have that small layer right there of that filter floss. We have those bio rings. We have more of them. Lava rock. And then we have some more Biomax. And then we have all of our plants. That sits right in, right on the top. And also thrive on the waste, the nitrates. this stuff to splash you. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it back first and then I'll um... it's like a funny while you were um talking Luna was just staring at you. What is he doing over there? So that's the hang on the back. Now we're gonna grab this uh, this canister filter and do the same thing. Check it out. All right, so now that that's back up there, let's go ahead and remove this canister filter and finish this up. One trick that I use when I'm removing these canister filters is I have a rag or a towel handy. So when I disconnect it, I catch any water that's gonna come out of the, the little connector so it don't get inside of my tank stand. See, that's all water that escapes from the hose once you, uh, once you disconnect it. You see, see how it's topped off like that? So now, I need to pour out some of this water before I could go, yeah. I'll pour out this water first, and then I'll be right back. We back. All right, so now, let's remove this. Got there, yeah, yeah. So I just need to wipe this down real quick. So I'm gonna set it on so the water down. <clears throat>
So now, let's see. Yes, please. That would actually be very helpful. Thank you, babe. Mm -hmm. We have bio balls. And maybe you know this already. That, done, that didn't come with it. This also did not come with it. Red lava rock. More lava rock, red and black lava rock. I think you get the picture. I love lava rock. Look at these sponges, guys. Yeah, I could take them out, add in some new ones, but why? But this, I'm not saying that this is how you have to do it. I'm just telling you another way to do it and let you guys decide for yourself. It's all about painting your own picture. This is this is a hobby for all of us. And um, you know, we all have our own blank canvas that we paint. So this right here is just one of the ways I apply the paint to my canvas. So if you like it, if you understand it, then you might want to try it for yourself. If not, it's it's I don't, I don't think it's anything wrong with it. As long as you're keeping all of your uh, other bacteria, um, you know, inside of your lava rock and all your other media. Like if I was to dunk all of this, all of this media in like fresh water, I would kill all the beneficial bacteria. Now that's the one thing I'm gonna say you don't do. That's big negative. You know, you don't do it that way. So, but other than that, my choosing to keep my polyfill, uh, my sponges and things like that, that's a personal preference. You know, and it's just something I've learned um, throughout my time in this hobby, and I just wanted to share with you guys. So um, I hope that it's helpful. I hope that you appreciate it. And um, if you do, you know, hit that like button. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel. But uh, I think uh, I think that's a wrap, guys. I'm sure that you all know how to clean a filter. I've also made other videos on how to clean a filter. So I know that this was not a clean a filter, put it back together video. This was just me showing you guys one of the ways to save costs by keeping your, your, your sponges and your carbon and things like that for an extended period of time instead of throwing it out like it's recommended. Uh, so I hope you found this, this video useful. I hope you've learned something. Uh, follow me on Instagram at The Fish Corner. Follow my Facebook page at The Fish Corner. Consider joining my Facebook group, Fishaholics. And um, if you haven't done so, subscribe to the channel, please. Hit that like button. Hit that notification bell so you know every time I upload. And until next time, guys, peace.